Thank you for coming on. Thank you for uh, joining us on the Kinesis Experience. Firsthand, what the Kinesis Monetary System is all about. I'm really excited about where this is going. All right. Hi there. My name is Shane Moran, and I'll be your host on this edition and this episode of the Kinesis Experience. And with us today, we have none other than Dr. Jim Forsyth, who is the former New Hampshire campaign chair for Ron Paul and recently became an avid user of Kinesis Money. And Jim has started an initiative called Citizens for Sound Money. He's broken down the process of Kinesis from holding to minting and even redeeming for physical delivery. And he uh, unveiled that on, on with the Reddit community and, and shown firsthand what the Kinesis Monetary System is all about. And first of all, Jim, I want to thank you for coming on. And it's great to meet you. Thanks. It's great to be here. Uh, you guys, you and Andy were how I got involved with Kinesis, watching you guys trying to figure out what was going on with silver and gold. And then um, I found that's how I found out. All right. Well, just before we get started, uh, uh, Jim, maybe tell us uh, and tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Sure. Yeah. So um, I studied Russian as a kid in high school, and I went to the Soviet Union back in 84 and 86 and saw firsthand what, you know, socialism looks like, big government. And that uh, made me really a big believer in free markets. Um, and I, I like to say, you know, I, I want to defend our country against that threat. So I joined the Air Force did such a great job that the wall came down within a couple of weeks of joining up. <laughs> um, so, you know, close to a decade went by and um, I got out of the military and realized I could, I could probably do more for freedom or I could do a lot for freedom outside of that. Uh, met Ron Paul when he announced, I got really excited about that. Quit basically uh, campaign full time for him. Quit, wound up quitting my job to run for Congress. Um, that didn't work out, but two years later, ran for state Senate and got elected, did some great things, I think, um, education tax credits, medical marijuana, and um, then was his campaign chair in 2012. So he's the person that really introduced me to the concept of sound money, um, and I've been a big believer in that ever since. And um, my campaign manager actually was a big fan of Bitcoin back in 2010. I said, that, that's pretty exciting. It's doing an end round, run around the government uh, in the banking system but it's not really backed by anything. What we need is blockchain, gold and silver. Um, and, and here we are uh, 10 years later. And, you know, there've been other solutions. I, I, I looked at a lot of other solutions and I could never pull the trigger because they introduced counterparty risk with uh, no tangible reward until I saw Kinesis with the yield engine. And, and you know, I, I, it's what I've been waiting for for a decade. So I, I jumped in back in November. Amazing, amazing. Well, maybe take us through. I know you, you, you said that you found out uh, uh, about Kinesis through the Live from the Vault, I guess, with Andy and I. But And here's the funny thing. I found out about ABX, which is the the holding all of the silver and gold and, and so on. But I found out with uh, an interview that Andy was doing as well. So it's kind of a coincidental here. But tell us, maybe walk us through uh, what happened and, and, and maybe your initial thoughts as, as you started to discover and, and read further into what the Kinesis monetary system is all about. Yeah. So it was back in November and I got interested and, um, and I found out about the KVTs and, you know, I, I don't have a credit. I did not have a credited investor status, but you know, I'm a big believer in sound money. And I saw this system with, with the yield engine and said, this, this could be really big. And as much as I believe in sound money, I need to have some ownership in that. Um, so I actually worked uh, pretty hard over Christmas to take my Series 65 exam. Um, that's a little known fact that they introduced in December is that's how you can get accredited if you don't have the income or the, or the assets is um, by, by taking that exam. Um, and <laughs> I remember depositing, you know, I started small. I deposited a little bit of money and uh, enough to do one mint cycle. I was very proud of myself for doing one minute cycle and getting a KVT. Um, and then over the subsequent months, as I saw, um, you know, this grow, I started adding, adding more, but then when silver squeeze kicked off, uh, back in, uh, late January, early February, I, I saw the interest in Kinesis just really explode. Um, you know, and, and I was getting active in, in informing people about it, especially when gold ventures came out with an endorsement. And it was funny cause I talked to him for so long about it. And then he used somebody else's referral code. I was like, come on. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, things really exploded. I said, okay, it's time, it's time to go all in. And um, I did a lot more minting. Um, I, I, I wound up, uh, you know, depositing a lot of money, doing some minting. And I got down to where 
I had my base capital, but not, but you know, no extra funds to do any more minting. And um, I started saying, hey, if you guys want to get KVT and mint, um, but you don't have the capital, I can help you out. And I, I, I wound up minting for a couple other people. Uh, they would send me some funds. Um, I would mint cycle with them, share the spreadsheets and the cost and basically do it for them at cost. And that started this whole kind of community community movement of uh, uh, that, that we're involved in today. Um, but and I and I, you know, I'm a math guy, uh, aerospace PhD. And so from day one, I started looking, OK, what's what are the tokens in circulation? What's the volume? Um, you know, what's the expected yields and um, the, the the holder, you know, forget KVT, just the holder's yield is, is a complete game changer because gold's always had a hard time competing. Um, you know, there's a negative correlation between bond yields and gold traditionally, and, and that's because gold has no yield. And um, but the, 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 the fact that gold can now have a yield is, in my opinion, just a complete game changer. And what's amazing about Kinesis is it has that yield without debt. Normally, to get a yield, you have to take some risk on, lend your funds out. But because of the crypto nature um, that, you know, just taking a little bit of all, each transaction into a fee pool, you can get a yield based on the use of money from from um, holding KAU or KAG, which is I think it's going to be revolutionary. I think, uh, you know, people are used to paying, you know, a little bit, you know, 0. 0.2, 0. 0.3, 0.4% for vaulting cost. Yeah. But here your vaulting cost is paid for plus you get a yield. That yield could be, you know, 2.5% um, on an inflation adjusted asset. So uh, I'm really excited about where this is going. Now, now, Jim, you just uh, mentioned the, the holder's yield, which is very, very unique in the in the entire precious metals uh, industry. Um, the the one of the things that I, I noticed that you did is you you wrote a great article uh, that you put out on Reddit about redeeming, actually uh, taking uh, the KAU, which is the gold, or KAG, which is the silver, and uh, to redeem it from Kinesis. Can you kind of walk us through? Uh, uh, that process and and how it ended up for you. Sure, yeah, and and so the redemption. I started off wanting to do it just to test the system. I really I wanted the holder's yield. I didn't really want. Yeah. I have physical already, um, and I think everybody should have some physical at home for sure. With absent any counterparty risk, no matter how much you trust anyone, they should have some. Um, but I wanted to test out the system. Well, then my wife was talking with her, and she's like, "I don't trust anybody." We need, we need more physical. We need more physical. I was like, okay, I'll redeem. Um, and so that, that clinched it. And, um, yeah, so I redeemed, uh, filed my, my request, um, went back and forth on cost and, for, and then basically, you know, I bought the KAG on the exchange. I was trying to get the cheapest price. So rather than minting, I went and bought it at the exchange. It was a little cheaper, but you don't get the mint yields and, um, filed the request and basically went, back and forth by email within a week um, is a FedEx package delivered. And, uh, you know, the redemption costs 0.45% plus a $100 fee. And then um, it was $155 for shipping and insurance. If you total that all up, plus the, you know, one or 2% I paid above spot price, my total cost was 8.17% above spot. And, and that's 8.17% above spot at the time I bought it. But you can buy your KAG 24 seven. So you can do limit orders and, you know, wait for the 5 a.m. London market open, right? 5 a.m. Eastern zero G, you know, and uh, the London market open smash down and buy your KAG then. So, um, and I, I posted this on Reddit and said, it, you know, if anybody's getting it for cheaper, let me know. Um, and these were Engelhard bar, two Engelhard bars, 100 ounces each, which I, I guess I found out later were a lot of people collect them. Um, so they normally have a little premium over other 100 ounce bars. Um, I had one person say they walked into a store somewhere and was able to get for a similar price. I didn't have anybody. And most people said, yeah, it's 20% of her spot for me. Um, so th the price was phenomenal. In one week, people are used to waiting 30, 60 days nowadays. Yes. So getting yeah. the metal in one week was phenomenal. Well, Jim, that was one of the things that I noticed as well. First of all, with ABX and, and now with Kinesis, I have not been able to find a place to consistently come even close uh, to the end price that you get with, uh, with Kinesis. And we're talking physical uh, silver uh, and gold. Yeah, I mean, ABX is, is, is big, right? And they get good prices. Um, and so... 
but a KAG is an ounce, and so you wind up getting those prices now. Yeah, you know, I, I I think that the the premiums hopefully will come down for for uh, you know other dealers, and and maybe that advantage will die down a little bit. But right now, even even if you're just looking for a cheap source of physical, it's 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 a pretty good way to go. Yeah. Now, now you, you had mentioned earlier, and I want to maybe help our viewers out just a little bit here, but you had mentioned the minting, which is, in my opinion, one of the most exciting parts of the whole Kinesis monetary system. And as I uh, started to learn more and more, you know, in my mind, I said, when people figure out what minting really is and what and how to do it, this is going to be, uh, it's going to explode the, the entire market and the way of thinking about maybe, can you just uh, take us through your experience with, you know, minting and, and basically it's, it's, yeah, take us through your experience of, of minting and, and uh, how you understand this process and, and your experience with the process. Let me first explain the process as I see it, you know, further down the road when we're right now, you can mint to earn KBT and, and that's temporary. And it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit artificial. Um, so let me explain what the way I see minting down the road, which is, you know, when you mint, um, you're, you're, you know, you put in your money and you buy, say, 200 kg, which is 200 ounces. When you do that, 200 ounces will be added to the vaults. You'll get the 200 kg, you know, minus a 0.45% fee. Um, so you're adding physical to the system. Um, but you can also just buy kg on the exchange. So the question is, is well, why would somebody mint? Well, um, what I see happening is, let, let's say nobody's minting, but demand starts to increase for KAG, the prices in the exchange would start to go up. You know, when they start to go up higher and get, um, you know, go even they could go above the spot price. Well, at that point, it's in somebody's best incentive to go mint, add physical to the system, and um, and then uh, and then sell it because they can they could make an arbitrage trade. But the mint yield itself provides a little bit of an arbitrage trade in, in that, you know, if there's a lot of demand for KAG, the price in the exchange is very close to the mint cost. Well, go mint some more, sell it or hold it. Um, and, and But once you sell it, you get the mint yield for that. Um, and that's perpetual. And so that's 5% of the fee pool. Um, and then basically you look at how much you've minted compared to the total amount that has been minted. Um, and you get that percentage of that 5% of the fee pool. Um, the, the way, the ideal way I would see this working for people is, you know, deposit, direct deposit, you know, your paychecks, um, depending on how much you get paid, wait until you have enough to do a, min, a minting and then mint it, hold it. And then as time goes by and you spend it, then you're triggering that yield. So for, for, you know, e you know, each time, each month where you're depositing and minting, you're building up a perpetual yield for yourself. Yeah, that's that. You, you'd also we talked about mint cycling and maybe talk about what what that is. Yeah, yeah. So 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 then now mint cycling. So so what I just described is the way I see this in the yeah. future as the natural way that it would be. Uh, mint cycles, um, kind of a clever way to uh, for Kinesis to basically start charging or start building that fee pool to pay out the users. Um, is is right now if you you can mint sell on the exchange, but then mint cycling is where now you take that money, put it back into the exchange or back into the mint, mint again and repeat. Um, each cycle through is gonna cost you in fees. And, um, but for every, currently for, it was every $50,000 minted, you get a KBT, now it's every 75,000. Caveat is if you're in the US to receive that free KBT um, for minting, you, you have to be accredited. Um, that's, that's the United States for you whatever, it's the only country in the world. Um, but yes, so you can mint cycle and back with $50,000 PMO, um, it was about, if you mint cycle with 100K, it was about $750 in fees. Um, you know, some people would try to trade around it to get a better price. Um, if, if you have more KAU to do at a time, it makes it faster and, and a little cheaper. But seven seven fifty was about the cost net. Then now it's yeah about thousand eleven hundred dollars to mint cycle. So it's it's cheaper than buying the KBT on the exchange, which is about thirteen hundred dollars right now. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And you get that mint yield. I mean, the mint yields from the people doing KBT right now 
I don't know if the mint yields will be big, but their credit is 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 really big for that yield, and they're tripled right now, and that means triple the credit. So if you were to mint cycle, you know, and and earn enough to have a million dollars in minting volume, that counts as three million. And so once the PMO is ended, um, that your your mint cycling benefits are going to persist for mu- for much longer there, because of that tripling. And, and minting is is a perpetual yield. It's not just a one time uh, yield. It, it 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 hits over and over and over, which is which is phenomenal. <laughs> I remember looking at the blueprint, and it would give the percentage yield. That, you know, if you mint fifty thousand dollars, the yield point eight four percent. Now, it's probably going to be lower than that because um, the mint cycling is encouraging the market makers to redeem. Um, but still, but that 0.84 cents based on the 50,000, well, you haven't spent 50,000. You've only spent $750. So the yield on that $750 spent um, could be could be pretty decent. Um, you know, my, my guess is, you know, the people that are mint cycling today for KVTs, the minting yields probably in a couple of years will pay them back for, for their cost. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Now, now you've recently started an initiative it's, uh, called Citizens for Sound Money. I just love the name. As soon as I saw it, I said, "This sound. This is uh, an organization whose time has come for sure." Uh, I know uh, Kinesis is a focal point, and maybe you can uh, tell us about that. And 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 uh, uh, yeah, tell us about about that and how that uh, that your dream is being realized. Yeah. So, um, so Kinesis is the focal point. Uh, well, let me describe first. It's it's two things in paraphrases to um, encourage the use of sound money by people today. You know, in other words, we're not we're not trying to get the government to use sound money. We're saying you can do it right now. Go do it. And then the second part is defending people's rights to do so. And that that's you know, that's going to happen later in the game once we built up our resources. But we're organized as a 501c4. So we want to be able to represent people using sound money in, um, you know, on bills or in, in Congress in order to protect their right to use sound money. Um, in, in terms of Kinesis being a focal point, you know, we're going to support any good, honest companies that promote or, um, you know, support sound money. Um, but we saw an opportunity with Kinesis because because of the KVT, really. Well, first of all, all, the, all that I've talked about in terms of yield engine, but then also um, with the KVT, if you're a believer in sound money and you think this is going to be used as sound money, you can basically own part of the company by by earning or buying these KVTs. And, and that was very unique. Um, so, so that gave us an ability to, uh, you know, if we're going to be representing sound money, if we can um, build up some KVT in the in the nonprofit's balance to help support, you know, you know, provide yields in the future for us um, that we can spend on lobbying efforts and um, and to help people start using sound money, um, it it really gave us the ability to jumpstart this effort. Um, the physical end is another end of it that we're starting to get involved in. In other words, you know, sound money is not just, uh, you know, kinesis or crypto, but it's also if you want to have some money um, to tip somebody with or, um, you know, to barter barter with, then, you know, you need physical in your hand for, for that as well. Um, and again, the redemption part of kinesis makes that, you know, attractive even from that end. Yeah, very, very. It sounds like an exciting, uh, exciting project. And I think a lot of people, I think that it's a, a project whose time has come. I think a lot of people are looking for that. Let me also say, um, so Citizens for Sound Money um, has a really strong team. And I, I want to acknowledge their work. Um, so Executive Director Marion Ward, uh, Reno, uh, has been active really from the beginning and is going to be, he's working on, he, he actually does most of our mint cycling at this point. Um, because he has a business, the business has capital and KAU that we can just mint cycle with without, you know, burning through it. And um, he's going to be working on helping businesses start using Kinesis, and he's doing it with his business. And he's already reached out to a couple other people interested. Um, so really excited about that. And um, we've got a really nice team supporting the effort that we do. Um, and uh, and they've, it's been phenomenal, and that's growing. Wow, very, very exciting. So now... Uh, where can people find out more about this? So our website will be citizens for sound money, but with the letter four okay. org. So citizens for sound money dot org with the letter four. Um, I can be followed on Twitter um, at Jim Forsyth five. Um, we do have a C4SM 
Twitter account, but it's not really active yet. The best way is there's a sign up. There will be a sign up on the on the website for people to sign up. Um, we also have a Discord channel, but my my um, my pinned tweet on Twitter has has links to all this stuff. Oh, perfect, perfect. And we'll include uh, links to everything below uh, to save the viewers a little bit of time here. Now, uh, what are your personal thoughts on where you see uh, Kinesis? Where it's a baby, baby monetary system, but it's it's moving quite fast. But where do you see it heading, uh, Jim, in the next five or even ten years from now? Um, I, I think it's got big things in the store. I think it's the the right tool at the right time. Um, you know, we, we've seen this seven, eight months consolidation in gold and silver, but we all know that the um, conditions are really ripe for an explosion in the interest in gold and silver. Um, Kinesis has basically come to maturity or near maturity. I mean, there's still some, you know, the yield engines coming online in Q2 will be the final piece of the puzzle. Um, coming to maturity right at the time where I think uh, interest in monetary use of gold and silver is gonna be exploding. Um, so I'm expecting big things, which is why I've been working so hard to invest in KBT for myself personally and for, for the nonprofit. Yeah, I, look, look I, I, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around all over the internet. I'm seeing a lot of uh, things and I'm gonna come to this in a second on May 1st. Uh, 2021 called the Silver Aid. But just before we get to that, because I know a lot of people are interested in that, I want to um, uh, send to you your choice uh, to the citizens for sound money, your choice of a KAU or uh, two KAGs. Oh, and I can thanks, do that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I could do that right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, so um, over here. I, I personally don't want to take money from Kinesis because I'm trying to be, you know, I need to be independent. But if you guys want to make a donation to the sound money effort more than you already have, um, I'd, I'd be happy to take that. So, 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 so two things. So two things here, Jim. This is a little bit of a surprise, but I am just sending right now to citizens for sound money. And I'm going to click the button right now. It says to confirm. And I've just confirmed it. So it should show up in a second here. And uh, when the yield engines come on, you can make a note that I'm going to also contribute uh, one KVT uh, to uh, to your organization as well. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be fun. But when, as soon as the yield engines come on, make sure you hit me up. Say, Shane, you promised me a KVT and I'll send it over to, to your uh, group. I think it's great. Now, uh, did it come in? Yeah, sure did. Was... Oh, wow. There you go. I'm, I'm, there you go. I'm used to them coming in quickly, to be honest. Uh, very, very, this is this is the shocking thing. We're across, you know, the other end of the world, and and that came in, and I'm guessing, you know, three to five seconds or something, really quick. But uh, tell us about the silver raid. I know there's a lot of lot of uh, discussion going around, and and uh, tell us about how that started and 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 what's happening there. Yeah, well, before then, thank, thanks for the donation. Yeah, so we yeah. like we have an executive director and there's expenses and she, she has a personal account. And when we pay her, it's like, okay, sending it now. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, very fast. Don't, don't get me started on PayPal. Uh, we, yeah, we've right. used PayPal and it's taken us two or three weeks to get the money out of PayPal. Meanwhile, gold and silver are up, you know, five, six percent or whatever since the money went in there. So we basically lost a lot of money by using PayPal. Um, so we charged 10% extra. Wow. Uh, so yeah, the, 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 the silver raid, um, this was started by Craig Hemke, uh, of, well, you guys had, uh, yes, he's a good friend. He's a good friend of Kinesis. Yeah. 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 He's great. Um, so of Sprott money and TF metals reports. So he, he posted something, um, and that would be good to get in the show links. Um, and he's advocating for a silver raid on first of May. Um, and citizens for sound money will be taking part of that not ba basically because we think that for gold and silver to be money we have to have real price discovery and the current futures market uh, inhibits real price discovery um you know this this isn't about market manipulation this is about ending ending any sort of manipulation and, and leverage and you know we need it sound money needs good honest unleveraged you know real physical price discovery um, so we'll be announcing, uh, how we're going to be involved in that. But, but bottom line is, is, if, uh, we're advocating for people to start stocking up on KAG. Um, I do wear another hat on, on Twitter, which is I'm a big PSLV fan. And so certainly people buying PSLV is, is definitely appreciated buying physical also great way to go. But we're, we we have, uh, something in the works where, um, we are planning on, 
um, redeeming a thousand ounce bar uh, from Kinesis and and melting it down into one and making one tenth ounce rounds and selling those for KAG. So if people stock up on KAG right now, we're hoping for a nice way um, uh, to to get them ten ounce rounds, which is very usable as money. Um, because the small denomination, you can give it out as tips. So we're we're planning on having something like that in pro in in um, in place, but uh, we've been working on it for the last month, and we're getting near the final stages of getting pricing and everything. So very exciting, very exciting. Well, I want to thank you for uh, joining us on this first episode here of the Kinesis Experience, and you certainly have given I think the viewers an experience of of from everything from uh, depositing to. Uh, to minting uh, the holders yield, of course, is very exciting. Uh, you touched, you talked a little bit about the referral yield, a little bit. You kind of mentioned it, but there's an, another yield that Kinesis offers. Uh, everyone who opens up an account gets a link, a referral link, and you share it with your friends and family. And uh, Kinesis shares 7.5 percent of the uh, transaction fees that occur in that particular wallet, whether it's a individual, uh, a company, or even a government organization, but uh, very, very exciting to have you on, and I and I hope you can come back and join us in the near future. Yeah, just uh, on, on that referral yield, by the way, um, that can wind up rubbing some people a little the wrong way. And and since I am talking a lot about Kinesis on Twitter, um, I don't, I haven't given out my referral yield for a long time. Um, instead, I would have a pin tweet where I gave out referral yield from a new new person. So. Yep. You know, if it rubs you the wrong way, use it in a way that where it makes sense for you, you know, give it out, give, you know, get a referral code from a, a friend that doesn't have any referrals and give that out. Um, and and then um, for our for our nonprofit, what we did is we had uh, our executive director refer the nonprofit. And that way, our fees basically basically can wind up going to pay her part of her salary. Yeah, very good. Very exciting. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jim, and we'll see you next time on the Kinesis Experience. Thank you so much.